All right, so pertussis is surging in the United States with reduced vaccinations. Classic pertussis kind of seems like a viral infection, upper respiratory symptoms, and then these severe coughing fits followed by a post-coughing <gasps> kind of whoop sound, as well as post-coughing vomiting. I will say though, in the pediatric ICU, what scares me the most, it's really these young babies. So they're often not even strong enough to do that classic whoop that you hear after the coughing fits. But instead of whooping, what they have that is so scary is called apnea, or they just stop breathing. They suddenly turn blue or pale, their oxygen level drops severely, their heart rate drops. And so these kids are scary to watch. They go from zero to 100 very fast. The key point for you to know is that babies can't get vaccinated against pertussis until they're two months of age. So they're really sitting ducks for the first eight weeks of life. So what can we do? Well, just remember that we can get vaccinated as adults before we're around babies. So at least, at least two weeks before, you wanna make sure that you get a Tdap. For my wife and I, when we had a, a newborn baby, we said, look, nobody comes unless they show documentation of their pertussis vaccination, because I just hate this disease. Officially, you should be covered for 10 years, but after five years or so, the pertussis protection starts to fade. So I often recommend it then, and all moms need to get it from 27 to 36 weeks. So keep your kids safe.